It's been a pretty dry day nearly everywhere. As we showed you uh, at 5 o'clock, there was one little shower and storm kind of over eastern Cameron County around midday. You can kind of see it right there on the map. Didn't do a whole lot, but a very eastern edge of Cameron County, a little brief shower or storm. Most of the rain is pretty far to the north. We can kind of see some showers on the edge of the screen here, mostly going north of the valley this evening. So I think we'll be dry for fireworks, but it's possible that uh, maybe a shower storm comes down from the north overnight. We'll have to wait and see on that. But in the meantime, it's the usual dry and hot right now and kind of breezy. 92 in Harlingen, 91 in Brownsville, 97 still in McAllen. And it was up over 100 in Star County. It's down to 96 now in Rio Grande City. Still feels like over 100. Feels like 110 in Rio Grande City with the humidity and 102 in Brownsville. So, you know, if you're out for a little early evening 4th of July barbecue, ooh, <laughs> It, it's still hot out there right now. You have to wait until the sun goes down for things to start to cool off some. Dry weather again, it, for the most part in the valley. Notice the showers are to the north. We zoom this out a bit more. Pretty good little upper level disturbance creating some rain, some flooding rain in Houston earlier today, and now sparking some bigger storms as this disturbance is basically tracked right along I-10 westward throughout the day. You can kind of see a little spin to the clouds and uh, rain there as it tracks right along I-10, but causing some thunderstorms near and south of San Antonio. Some of these are drifting to the south. So it's possible again that some of these will try to hold together maybe and get close to us late tonight or maybe a shower storm will blow up ahead of it in the overnight hours. But again, evening hours look dry late tonight. There may be a shower storm trying to come in from the north. So you just want to check out the KRGV weather app. That's not the app, but you know, <laughs> you get the idea. Get the thumbs going on the phone or uh, check us out tonight at 10 and 1030. Uh, now you know, on future track, you notice overnight too, it tries to show some rain coming down from the north. Not very much, but the idea is there that maybe something could come down late tonight and then it shows around three or four in the morning. Tomorrow, the moisture increases a bit. Don't think we're going to see all day rain, but as we heat up to around 90 degrees or so, could see a couple showers or storm pop up and drift west across the area. So showers or a storm are possible. And then as we go into Friday, some of the models hint at kind of another upper level disturbance tracking across us and that may actually try to spark the uh, rain chances, give them a little extra kick maybe on Friday. So you see a few more blotches of yellow there indicating maybe a few uh, heavier downpours in spots. And you know, again, not looking for a widespread heavy rain, but it's possible you might see an inch or two in some spots if a thunderstorm does form the next few days. And here we are on future track. This upper level disturbance, one of them moving through and kind of fading away the next couple of days, but the moisture flow behind it on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday comes right in from the Gulf. So that keeps rain chances going. Again, may not rain a lot or rain in very many places, but enough moisture is there that each day there could be some rain in parts of the valley, really Thursday, Friday, and through the weekend. So 40% chance for rain overall on Thursday, Friday, and even Saturday. And like I said, probably if you had to narrow, the, narrow this down, maybe a little chance late tonight and then tomorrow afternoon and then Friday afternoon and evening and then maybe a few showers and storms again Saturday afternoon and early evening as well. So uh, we'll do a more in-depth look at this coming up in the next half hour. Also look at the tropics too, so you want to stay tuned for that. But the first 1570 forecast, you know, we're still keeping the 100s out of the forecast. That's a good point, but uh, there are rain chances at least five or six out of the next seven days. The best chances through about Saturday. And as I mentioned, we're not looking for widespread heavy rain that could cause flooding, but uh, shower storms could pop up during the daytime and again Friday afternoon or evening may be a chance there and there could be a few brief heavy downpours and then after Saturday the rain chances start uh, rain chances start to go down probably to about 20% or so by Sunday and then gradually fade away more by next week but we'll keep watching for the rain and rain chances headed our way in your first one five forecast Dina